it's uh, 6.30 ish, 10 to 8, not even close. And uh, well, we're out at the Hollywood Golf Club again, gorgeous out here, slightly overcast. The forecast actually is not, look, we can't be as reliant on the weather forecast as we can in Australia. You can just assume it's going to be sunny and nice. But today it's dry, it's half six, and there's a club in my bag quite controversial topic this that I've had for a while but as we're on the trend of making this game easier for ourselves I don't know if I love it anymore I really have tired eyes don't I how do you get rid of them do you like rub them is that better are they still tired now, if there's a day where this club has got to behave, it's today. A big iron for me, in more ways than one. Controversial specs, I'd say. Like I said, this has been strengthened, it's steel. Let's not forget that. But when my driver's not been working, even though this is not that forgiving, it still goes miles and it is still easier to hit with the backspin. We're playing straight into, that was not the best flight I've ever seen, but uh, it really does need to be worried, honestly. I'm right into the wind and my eyes are watering, can you tell? It's, oh, it's so emotional to be here. There's nothing more motivating for me than stepping on the... Jesus. There's nothing more motivating for me than stepping on the first tee and hitting one out of bounds left. It just really, oh, there's just something about it, isn't there? All I want to do is play golf right now because of that. Yes, love the game. But honestly, ironically, that is the exact reason why I'm here, out here today. Because something's going to be competing for that position in my golf bag. And here it is. Yes, we have an intruder. The Wilson Staff Model Utility. I've saved the best part for you. That was a record. Look at that. Oh, it's chrome, chrome me up, eh? Chrome me up, Scotty. Now let's just say you've got into golf for the first time and you don't know what staff model is. Staff model is officially, well my words, extremely sexy golf equipment. So that's what staff model is. Now we've seen the irons. And this is adding to our test of things we've never tested. Now this is my HMB2 iron, my trusty. Well, it's not, this is a thing. Trusty, it's not trusty. There's nothing trusty about it. I love it because when I get it, it goes about 300 yards. When I don't, it goes three. Yes, swing, swing is good. <laughs> <laughs> so after that very interesting start, what I thought I'd do is test my two iron, which is actually a one iron. So this is bent, I think, to 13 degrees. And it's become, you know, I think we did, well, we did the gap test. It's around 280. I can get this out to 300 if I really want to, but the sacrifice is, it's all forward, not a lot of backspin for forgiveness and stability. So I'm lo I could lo easily lose a few left and right. And I've hit some absolute stinkers of like chunks. So if I'm on the fairway, I've got to absolutely nuke it, almost like a driver off the deck. And that is exactly why this is up for debate. So what I thought I'd do with a staff model utility is of course test them side by side. We're going to hit a ball each and see where we end up. So this is I think a 13 degree, that's an 18 degree, so it's obvious that this is going to go further. So HMB2 iron first. <laughs> Good luck Wilson. That is A1. Okay so down at address we've got a lot more loft.
definitely easy to get airborne. But that's actually gone right. So this is undulated from right to left. So that's the Wilson right there. As you can see the distance just left of the flag, you will see another ball, which is a fair distance. It's nearly on the green actually, just an easy two iron. It's rolled down and, well, like I say, flattering result. So it's really hard not to give it to my two iron there really. No, but this straight away from the tee, I felt more comfortable. Got a lot more height. Didn't feel like, with, with the two iron, I feel like I almost have to help it look, launch like you do a driver where this was just middle of stance and did the work for me, which is the idea of a utility. It's there to help, it's a backup. <laughs> it's a driving iron. Based on that hole, the two iron took it. My two iron took it, but I was very happy with what I saw from the Wilson. A lot higher flight, a bit more stability, and we're gonna start now again with the Wilson 18 degree. So this is a hybrid shaft I've tried. So this is KBS hybrid, it's 80X, and it definitely feels lighter. We're playing into wind, so this could be, again, another benefit for the two iron. That's, I love that, guys, honestly. That was just effortless. <laughs> and that's the kind of shot I need. I need that play where I've got a very strong chance of hitting it on the planet. Where this, I'm just thinking, what am I gonna get here? I need that backup. And it, it, the aggressive vibe of it is just straight away, I mean, not much loft, thinner top line, and I'm feeling like I could probably go for this green. Which is not the that's not the vibe I really want from an iron. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Did I just talk myself out of that? I, th I think so. Again, for everyone keeping count, two iron under the tree, and then the Wilson in a one. So I know you're going to say I didn't hit that correctly, but this is part of the battle. I wouldn't have ever got that shot from that Wilson at that loft and that build. This is definitely, like I say, the two iron hit some shockers. I really do. Shots like that, that put me in more trouble than what I would have done if I'd have just gone for this with a driver. So, see what I mean? This is a dilemma. And the most intriguing part is usually when you do a head to head, it's two like for likes in terms of specs, performance. It's like which one can outdo each other. But these are two very different specs, two very different builds. For me, the HMV2 iron is the person that goes to the party, is the major at beer pong. Has about 45 pints and 16 shots through the nostril. Bit wobbly, but pretty cool. Can you rely on them to get you home though? No. Now, the Wilson staff arrived to the party listening to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on audiobook. Made space in the car for everyone to get home safely. Is it though the centre of attention? Probably not. What a very odd way of describing that. Something that I absolutely love and a common trend currently is a hollow body design. You see it in players distance irons and you also see it in utilities. All about, of course, distance forgiveness and improved launch and taking all that weight out allows the manufacturers to stick it in a spot that's gonna be best beneficial for that particular player. So obviously the specs are different with these two, but also the actual builds are very different as well. As you can see, the staff model's got a weight in the sole, again, to help get that ball in the air. But obviously the build of the Mizuno and the forging process is, it's hard to beat really. So many performance differences and spec differences, but when it comes down to a dress position, considering the difference in loft, which you can clearly tell between the two, top line offset still very tidy. You know, the offset's minimal, the top line's there, but it's not overpowering. It's not the thing you look at at a dress like, and aesthetically at a dress, you can tell straight away that that's exactly what this iron's trying to achieve. A better player vibe, but a little cuddly package to help you unless you crank it to a one iron and stick a steel shaft in it. <laughs> You'd do that. So obviously it's a bit of a fun test, but the last test for me is the 17th here at Hollywood. 351 yard, par four. Drive as possible, it's definitely a risk and reward. But this for me is, it's, it just cries for a two iron. There's a little landing space past the left bunkers if you, if you can hit one. But I think this Wilson might bring those into play a little bit more. We'll see, we'll hit two and see what we get. We're going 18 degree again, because I'm really intrigued just to know where this goes. I've played this once before and I'm pretty sure there's a little bridge 
that goes across, but I don't think it's in any danger. <laughs> Famous last words. That is absolutely, that might have just sold it, you know. Honestly, that might have just sold it. Now, the other side of this is I do also have a 21 degree, which would really be, you'd like to hope, a fairway finder. I could have both then in the bag. But I'm just trying to think, when do I need this? This is, this is meant to be my port of call when things aren't going to plan. Just don't feel as comfortable over it, but I think that's definitely gone longer. It's gone left as well, mind you. I think the lesson is great. You know, I hit this two iron a lot further. It's very sexy to watch when I don't top it three yards, but there is a certain risk and reward, which you don't really want in your golf game or at least have a backup plan, which I don't. My next iron was a four iron, a big difference in distance between a new three wood, so it's something I needed to sort out. And I've got to admit, I've been very impressed with the staff model because it's doing exactly what I want it to. <laughs> That's what we have left. That's the two iron. See it there. But quite amazingly, there's a Wilson. Like, if this came down to a like for like replacement, I'd have numbers. But I didn't need to see that today. I just needed something that I like the Wilson. Um, I like everything about it in terms of feel, looks, it does its job and there's a, like I say there's a chance for both of these to stay in the bag but for what I want that iron to do, the setup of the Wilson, not so much the actual iron itself but the setup of the Wilson allows me to have that more fairway finding potential, keyword potential. <laughs> so yeah guys I wanted to involve you, um, it's looking very likely to see how the Wilson goes. I think a bit of testing and see some numbers wouldn't, wouldn't help. It wouldn't help, would help. Great, yeah. Yeah, I think it's going in. I, I, I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's going in the bag. Um, it'd be nice to see, it'd be nice to be able, like I say, to be able to fall back on something knowing that it's gonna make, hopefully the game a little bit easier. Guys, thank you as always for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thank you.